Hello and welcome to Seolito's virtual classroom. Uh, in this occasion, we are going to um, we're going to download, install, and um, learn how to use a little program called Password Save. Password Save is a program that uh, help you manage all your passwords, keep your passwords safe. Uh, it's uh, it's an excellent free tool and uh, basically with this tool you only have to remember one password and uh, which is the password to access the program so anyway we're going to download the program so you're gonna click on this link over here and uh, just wait for a couple of seconds see how the alright so if you have Internet Explorer version 9 or 10 or whatever uh, version uh, it's going to look something like this uh, you can either run it directly from the site or you can uh, save it I'm just going to click on run from here if you have uh, Chrome or uh, Mozilla which are two other browsers then uh, uh, the window is going to be a little bit different Mozilla and Chrome uh, download directly to another location but anyway so I'm pretty sure that if you know how to if you're using Chrome or Mozilla, most likely you know uh, how to download or um, software from the internet. So I'm going to click on Run, and this may take you know a couple of uh, a minute or two, depending on your uh, internet connection. And uh, once this comes up, then we're going to install the program. All right, so it's almost done. There it is. It um, take a couple, a couple of minutes to uh, basically just uh, download. Um, sometimes the windows will not pop up over here. You can either minimize this window already, and here is the program. Just click on OK. basically click on next next name install and close so now the program is installed and this is the program there's this little um, icon over here called password save so double click on it alright because this is the the first time that I'm using the program um, I need to create a, a database I need to create a file which will contain all my password this is some kind of like the, the vault that will contain all the, the passwords so I need to uh, because I, I, I don't have a database yet I need to create a new database so I'm gonna click right here and uh, I need to give it a name now I'm, I'm going to save this in my Google Drive it is very important that you secure this file because if you lose this file then you won't be able to access uh, your password so um, Google Drive it's uh, basically saving on, on the cloud um, so this way um, even if my computer uh, hard drive get damaged or, or burned or stolen whatever then I will never lose this file so anyway so I'm gonna save it over here and um, I'm going to actually I'm gonna create a, uh, a folder and I'm gonna call it uh, just passwords and then I'm going to save the file inside that folder on my Google Drive and I'm gonna call this uh, my passwords alright and I'm gonna click on save and I need to give it a password and again so this password oops uh, what did I do okay uh, see so this password um, make sure you do not forget it because if you forget this password then uh, you'll never be able to access the, the content of this file click on OK 
and here it is so it's it's empty because I don't have anything yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add an entry and um, you can create groups like for example you can create you know, a personal group for personal stuff and work for work related stuff so I'm gonna call this uh, personal and let's say that I'm gonna create a password for my online ba uh, online banking so I'm gonna call it banking uh, one and let's say that my username is user one two three uh, this is basically the user account that you use to log into to the site uh, sometimes the username is it's an email address or whatever it is and here I'm gonna type in the password uh, if there's nobody around and I wanna see what I'm typing I can click on show and basically it'll just you know uh, it'll show what I'm typing so I'm gonna do something like um, let's see live okay this is not related to this so forget about that uh, live is and I'm gonna do this beautiful all right so life is beautiful notice how I the, the first letter it's in uppercase and uh, I'm using a symbol and this is a very long password this is a very 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 difficult password uh, uh, to crack uh, and uh, also uh, it's uh, very easy to remember okay so it's some kind of a, a phrase you know but uh, a combination of stuff it is extremely important that you have a password that is uh, all your passwords uh, you know for a secure password uh, it has to be at least uh, eight characters long it must contain both uh, uppercase and at least one uppercase uh, letter and um, it is also very important that there is uh, at least one symbol again um, uh, at least one one symbol over there so um, again if nobody's around if you don't care that you can do this if you hide this then basically you know you have to type the password twice and stuff like that another thing that you can do is that you can generate the password and then if you do actually we're gonna do one of these uh, next so if there is a URL for uh, for this uh, for this page you know whatever that might be um, let me do my page which is tech um, mango mango.com so so whatever the web page is to access that site if there's one then you can do that if there's an email you can also write uh, notes over here you know anything that you want to write about this password and then you click OK so um, there you go so now you have a group called personal and I have one of my accounts if I want to create another entry over there so I just basically select this thing and I can either click over here again to actually that's to delete I, I click over here to add an entry so if you want to delete that entry you select it and then you delete it but anyway so uh, personal I'm going to add another entry or you could right click on the group and then you click on add entry and again so it's gonna be on my same group if I want to create another group then I can do that and um, I'm gonna call this uh, Facebook uh, Facebook account right so uh, and then let's say that you know the username is you know uh, user one two three four then here again you are going to type the password now remember I can generate a password okay and there it is look at the password right it, it would be almost impossible to remember that the password and if you don't have a program like this and you use a password like that uh, most likely you're gonna have to write it on a sticky note or something and uh, most likely you're gonna put it underneath the keyboard like I see a lot of people do which is very very dumb to do but anyway so because I'm using a password save I can I can have any any password that I want and uh, 
you know, because I don't have to worry about remembering this password, right? Because the program will do it for me. So again, here you put the URL, if there's one, if there's an email, if you want to put a note, or whatever you want to do, click OK, and there you go. So, and then you can go on and on and on, you, you know, and, and put your passwords. And once you finish, it's important to actually exit the program through this, not just click this. Because if you click this, the program actually, it's not closed, it's still open. So if you come here to the system tray, if you have Windows 7, you're going to see this little uh, triangle here. And if you click on that, so this is the program. So if I double click on it, then again, it's still open. So it wasn't actually closed over there. So uh, if I want to close, I click here and then I go exit. And then the program now, it's exit. If I need to enter again, I double click on this. I already have a database, so I'm just going to enter the password that I use for my database, which obviously I'm not going to tell you what it is. So click on OK, and there you go. You expand this, and there are my passwords. Very simple to use, very useful program, and it is free. So this way you can have hundreds of passwords for, you know, there's so many services nowadays, especially like, in my case, I, I work in IT, and I have so many passwords to remember, I mean, both personal and, and work-related, that it's just, it's, it's, it's not funny. Uh, it would be impossible for me to, and, and a lot of people, what they do, they have, you know, uh, a notebook with passwords, or they have... Uh, an express sheet like Excel or Word and, and and that's not secure even if you put a password in Excel that's not secure uh, this program this file it's encrypted even if someone were to get this file uh, it's impossible to to open it up to you know to crack this this program without knowing the password how to do that and again so you have to protect the password that you use to uh, create this file but that's basically it so I'm going to exit out, and that's it. So I hope that uh, you come back. And again, so the uh, thing is to uh, come back to my website, which is uh, Techie Mango. And uh, I'm going to be putting, you know, uh, basically a uh, whole bunch of videos on how to do stuff on, on this section over here. So um, uh, I'm starting this this videos basically so by the when you go back to this page over here you're gonna find the video uh, that I just created all right so that's it for now and I hope to see you on my next video bye bye